It's a dry roast, basically. Non-stick pan, just a touch of seasoning. The salt helps to dry out the cumin even more. And then fresh ginger. Slice them nice and thinly. Stack it back up, and then just slice. Nice little thin slices in there. And then keep that bunched up. Shake the chili. Removing the seeds will prevent things getting too hot. Now, garlic. Nice. Now, add olive oil to your toasted cumin seeds, and in with the garlic, ginger, and chili. Lovely. And it feels strange when you talk about garlic for breakfast, but the time I spent in India, everybody was eating something savory for breakfast. It was extraordinary. Into your bowl. And set aside. Next, the pancake filling. Add olive oil to a hot pan. Mustard seeds in. Now they'll start dancing the minute they hit the pan. Mm. Then finely slice an onion. Onions in. A little teaspoon of turmeric. Sprinkle that in. And look at the colour. An instant change. Leftover potatoes, just slice them. The smell is incredible. Potatoes in now. Spread the potatoes across the pan. I want the potatoes stained. I want them sort of absorbing all that really nice turmeric, acting like a sponge. Season those potatoes, and it really helps to bring out the spice beautifully. They're ready. Turn off the gas and let them sit there and absorb all those flavours. Back to the pancake batter. Add plain flour to your cooled garlic, chilli, ginger and cumin seeds. A touch of salt and pepper. Nothing worse than the bland pancake. One whole egg. Milk. Hold the jug with one hand and whisk with the other. The secret is to get that really nice smooth paste, but whisking that egg first. That brings it together, and then your milk in. Don't put all the milk in, because then you're going to get a lumpy pancake mix. And if you put less milk in, it really helps it not go lumpy. But look at that. Milk in. And the secret for me is to have a nice thin mix. Now, just a little teaspoon of oil. That helps to bring a nice crispy edge to the mixture. Now, just taste. Mm. That's the texture. Pan on. The larger the pan, the better. It helps to create the nice, thin, even surface. I want that mix going all the way around the pan. Before you put the mixture into the pan, make sure you give your pancake mix a really nice stir. Pan, it's nice and hot. Turn down the gas. A touch of olive oil in. Get that nice. Whisk with one hand. Pan to the mix. In. One and a half ladles. And then roll it around. So it's really nice and thin. I want to see the ginger, the garlic. That's what I'm looking for. In there. Now back onto the heat. It only starts to remove from the bottom of the pan and lifts itself up once it's cooked. These little bubbles confirm that it's just starting to lift off the pan. A little shake, that releases it. And then just shake it to the end. And toss. And if you haven't got the confidence of tossing, then use a spatula and turn it over. Now, that's exactly what I want, that nice sort of crisp edge around the side. The colour on the pancake is so important. Now, roll it round and just let it slide out. Beautifully. Mm. Now, for the exciting part, filling them. Take your potatoes, and just sort of have a really nice imaginary line. And then just very carefully roll that nice and tightly. Tuck it underneath there, pull it back and roll. Beautiful. The delicious pancakes are ready to eat, but with a simple dipping sauce, they'll be a real treat. Just mix chopped coriander with natural yogurt. 
That's a really nice cooling agent. Sit that on the side. And that, for me, is a, a great brunch. Delicious, spicy pancakes. Amazing. So it cools down even more. And then combine. Start mixing that in. It's really important. Three fingers, one in front, two behind. And this part of the knuckle is going to...